Hi everyone, my name's Nirav, and today I'm going to show you a really cool feature in the new Smart Hashtag 1 and Hashtag 3. This video is not sponsored by Smart Australia. Hi, I'm Reese from Smart Car Sydney here, and today we'll be looking at the Hashtag 3 Bravis. Thanks, Reese. Uh, I noticed that the Smart Hashtag 3 and Hashtag 1 had a really cool feature at the media launch I attended a few weeks ago in Queensland. Can you tell us all about it? Um, so they both, uh, for the 1 and 3 in the premium and Brabus models, are supporting the 22 kilowatt charger, uh, which you can see one set up here just behind us here, with one plugged in as well. What does that actually mean? So with the 7.4, which a lot of uh, cars sort of have, um, obviously that's sort of, it's a third of the time really. So the, with the 22 kilowatts, which we're excited about, is um, giving a, a faster charger option if you've got three phase at home, or if you're at shopping centres and all that sort of stuff, it's able to accept the, the faster charging. Yeah. Reese makes a really good point there. It's not just people with three phase charging at home or shopping centres. It also means that the new thousand plus street chargers and power pole chargers the New South Wales government is installing in the next six months or so across the Greater Sydney area, you'd be able to charge this smart hashtag three or hashtag one mid-range or top range model at much faster than any other electric car available on the market. We're sitting inside the smart hashtag three and we've plugged in the AC charging cable into a 22 kilowatt wall box AC charging unit. Now we go to energy in the car menu and we go to start charging it takes a few seconds to start as you can see the battery is two-thirds full at the moment however thanks to the super fast ac charging rate in this car it's adding 20.2 kilowatts out of the 22 kilowatts supplied to it there's always a small loss when charging electric cars and the charging speed is adding 118 kilometers per hour of driving distance, which is pretty awesome. What about the driver information screen though? It doesn't have quite so much information as the main screen, but actually it's got quite a lot of useful information. 269 kilometers of range left, 68% battery capacity. You can see from the little colorful infographic that there's energy coming into the car battery. The charging time remaining is 49 minutes and the charging method is AC 28 amp with 415 volt architecture. On most other electric cars like my own MG4 long range which support 11 kilowatt AC charging that number would be 100 minutes and in some other electric cars that are popular in Australia which only support about 7 kilowatt AC charging that number would be 150 minutes, which is a big difference. While the smart EVs have really good statistics on screen, unlike a lot of other electric cars when charging, what other information can you get if you wanna log the details yourself or see it on uh, your phone? Let's have a look. Well, I suggest getting an OBD reader like this one, which, via my extension cable connects to the OBD port on the smart EV underneath the driver's side. What can you see with an OBD reader like this one? Well, glad you asked. With the car scanner up you can see all kinds of interesting statistics. The OBD module voltage, the time, the current HV EV battery power, that's the current charging rate into the car. The charger outside is supplying 22 kilowatts and the car is receiving, it says 19.44 kilowatts here. Interestingly, the car screen says 20.3. Hmm, so it's a, a little bit of a difference. Now, what else is on the car scanner display from the OBD link? Uh, the HV battery state of charge, that's your current battery percentage, 69.36. The average temperature of the battery, the current, fuse voltage. 
it's a 400 volt EV architecture so you can see that maximum temperature that's not much because the car's just sitting here if you don't want to see just numbers you can also on car scanner get a nice visual display if you want to stick this onto your windshield in the corner and have a look at stats while you drive you can change the types of graphs you get you can just focus on one particular statistic there's nice graphing feature as well for those who really like their data you can graph things like charging rate over time that's kind of interesting at DC fast charging locations because the car will speed up the charge as it warms up and get to a peak and then slow down as it approaches 80% and then fall quite rapidly after the battery gets 80% full which is quite normal for an electric car so if really fast AC charging is important to you consider the smart hashtag 1 and hashtag 3 mid-range and top range models because you'll save a lot of time charging good value if you have access to three phase 22 kilowatt charging ability please like and subscribe so i can make more videos like this for you thanks and see you later